the striking scenery behind me probably has you thinking I'm gonna start talking about Heidi or bursting into the Sound of Music soundtrack, which I might if I was in the Austrian Alps. But I'm not. I'm somewhere that you probably haven't heard much about at all. Macedonia. It's time to learn another word that starts with M. Monastery. There are tons of them all over the country. And regardless of whether or not you're religious, they're worth checking out. Okay, let us have an Indiana Jones experience. Right over there. Yes. You coming? Yes. Indiana? Indiana. <laughs> I'm Indiana Jones. Here we go up to a sanctuary that's 5,000 years old. Going up yeah. hundreds of stairs, all I need is a cigarette. You guys, you guys are smoking? No, I'm not smoking. I <laughs> smell a trail of cigarette. Into the ancient church we go. But first, I just want to point out that there's a not-so-ancient light switch outside that has to be turned on first. The thing is that in the 14th century, there, were this, uh, there was a movement of monks that decided to uh, spend their lives, their entire lives, in a cave. Come back tomorrow and unlock and see whether you are enlightened or not. Uh, was that the key turning? <laughs> if there's anything Macedonians love more than their cigarettes, it's this Lake Okrut. It's pristine, clear, and one of the deepest lakes in the world. Pretzels. Pretzels from Okrut. The best. Until the sun. Theater behind me dates to the third century BC, and the reason the workers are painting numbers on the seats is because it's still in use today. Okay. Whoa. So that's the yeah. Yeah? And they make the food. Do they make all their food in here? No, Just the bread. only for bread. They make real bread in also this oven. Also lamb. You can put the entire lamb inside, you know. If the monk lifestyle appeals to you but the fashion doesn't, you can go halfway by spending the night at some of these monasteries, like this one, St. Joachim Ozogorsky. <laughs> There are two churches on site here. The big one behind me dates from the 19th century and the little one from the 12th. Hello? Yes, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. We are learning English today. This man's offering me some rakia out of a Fanta bottle. Okay. Fala. Okay. And now he's uh, offering me some cheese. What was that? The sheep. They've made this. Stefan Korka. That's good. Very good. It's good? Good. Yes. Yeah. Staying overnight at the monastery has been a great experience for me. You know, I've had time to contemplate the bigger picture. But I have gone 24 hours without internet and I'm totally freaking out about Facebook. I gotta get out of here, man.